Come back to Western New York Living. Now, does this scenario sound familiar to you? You're maybe going to some stairs to a house or a place of business, and before you walk up, you know it's going to be painful. Well, if knee or hip pain is causing you problems in everyday life, it might be time to visit a doctor or doctors. This morning, we're happy to have with us from the Knee and Hip Center, Drs. Marcus Romanowski and Cindy Romanowski. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Um, when does someone know it's time to go see a doctor versus my knee hurts? When do we know to take it seriously and maybe get treatment? Yeah, your, your example is a good one, going up and down stairs, starting to have pain. Uh, basically, if you're starting to have symptoms maybe more than three days a week that keep you from doing what you want to do or limit the amount of time that you can do the activity that you want to do, that's usually a good time to start thinking about getting an evaluation. Um, especially as you get into your 40s and beyond, 40s, 50s, 60s, that's when you start to see arthritis manifest itself more frequently. Who's a good candidate for this kind of surgery? Well, you know, at the, at the initial office visit, we're going to start with a history and a physical exam and do some basic x-rays. Mm -hmm. And there are really three elements that oftentimes uh, combine to give people limitations. They start to have some malalignment in the joint. They start to get a little bone-on-bone -bone contact in Ouch. the joint. And they start to lose range of motion. So if you get to that point, uh, you might need to think about surgery. But prior to that, there's a lot that can be done before you even get to that point. But usually the three days a week rule is a, is a good rule. If it hurts you three times over a week, you should probably get it checked. That's a good starting point. Uh, Cindy, I know that you have classes before someone gets surgery. Uh, they're asked to attend classes. Why is that important? It's important because these days knee replacement is pretty much an outpatient surgery for most patients. So you're not in the hospital for three days getting little drips of information from the nursing staff. You really need to go to the surgery center knowing what you're, what you're going to have to do afterwards. So I've been doing the classes for 25 years and I go over what medications you're going to be on, what equipment will make it easier for you, what kind of therapy you're going to get, what's covered by your insurance. And I've just found that there's a greater source of anxiety with our patients than there is any actual discomfort you're going to have afterwards. So if you can kind of work out those kinks ahead of time so when you get home you can really focus on your recovery. So there doesn't have to be surgery. Are there options or treatments uh, that are non-operative? Yeah, when patients come to our office, they're always initially, initially evaluated by Dr. Mark and his team, and he sets a care path. So patients are either going to be surgical or non-surgical. And when patients have a non-surgical issue, they'll come to see me. I do a lot of cortisone injections. I do ultrasound-guided um, gel shots. I um, prescribe therapies, medications, and that type of thing. And some of our patients are seeing me for even up to 10 years before I can you know, if they really find that they're either medically ready or psychologically ready, then I can get them right back on his schedule and um, get them ready for surgery. What's unique about your center specifically? I think the fact that we work together when you have uh, a physiatrist uh, focusing on the, the pre-op preparation and the post-op recovery, as well as a surgeon working together from the beginning, you're addressing all the potential pitfalls both before, during, and after the surgery. Mm -hmm. and, and the surgery is a, is a critical part of the, of the undertaking, but the preoperative preparation and the postoperative therapy are equally critical because you can have the best surgery in the world, but if you're not prepared for it or if you don't do the therapy properly afterwards, you can have problems. Mm -hmm. But also these days, knee replacement is really considered an outpatient surgery uh, compared to years ago. So again, you have to be really prepared going into it. And what our office does that's unique is you attend the class ahead of time and then patients always say have to have pre-op labs and EKG. We do that in our office now and on that day they sit down with me and I'll really drill down how many steps do you have, who's going to be with you, what kind of medical problems do you have so I can come up with a plan for can you seriously go home or do you need to stay in the hospital for medical reasons and if you do need a rehabilitation center I can help set that up for you as well. I don't need knee surgery but I feel so comfortable that you guys know <laughs> when it comes I will know where to go. Uh, that, that three times a, a week is a, is a great uh, sort of meter for people to know maybe when to go see a doctor. Yeah, Absolutely. Thank you for joining me today and giving us all this information. Yeah my pleasure. That's great. Thank you. All right at the knee and hip center they are focused on returning function and improving mobility for those suffering from knee and hip pain issues. From surgery to recovery, both doctors Marcus Romanowski and Dr. Cindy Romanowski are there to make sure that their patients enjoy faster recovery times. Want to find out more about the great services that their office offers? Make sure you contact them, 839-0632. You can head to their website online at gppconline.com.